What I'm about to tell you might seem crazy, but bear with me and you will be shocked. As long as we can remember, there was a strong assumption that give and take vast majority of One Piece fandom are willing to accept it. Shanks has the strongest conqueror hockey. And the reason is simple, because Shanks always been high because of his hockey. But today, let's turn assumption to fact. Let's prove, based on canon information, why Shanks truly, indeed, has the strongest conqueror in the world, and I'm gonna prove it using one chapter of One Piece, Shanks meeting Whitebeard. So, let me ask you, are you ready? I like saying no. It lowers their enthusiasm. On that legendary duel, we got to understand what it means to be a young crow of the seas. Shanks and Whitebeard clash, simply humble any other feat up to that point of the story. And while many people ignored or denied it, it got proven that their clash was based on their hockey, proving that Shanks does indeed have the advanced version of Conqueror hockey. But, surprising as it may seem, that was only the second greatest feat Shanks showcased on that day. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I see some people claim, well, if Shanks hockey is so strong, why he didn't knock out every member of Whitebeard Pirates, even the weak ones? Because there are so many people behind Marco that are still conscious. But to me, these people clearly miss the most important details of that meeting. As some members are getting knocked out, Marco said, the weak ones, stay back, you can't handle that man. And later on, we see many people are standing behind Marco and behind the fence surrendering Whitebeard's throne. In SBS about hockey, we got to know that a hockey user can fully control his conqueror to a degree that he can decide who he can knock out or who he can spare. And on that moment, every person behind Marco, behind the fence of Moby Dick, all of them are on the safe zone and there is no hockey pressures on them, as Marco said, because later on, Shanks admitted, since this was this enemy's ship, he had to be a bit careful, and he only knocked out the people around him on the other side of the fence. But do you really want to know what is crazy? When Shanks hockey was affecting people, even Jozu himself had trouble staying conscious you can clearly see as he's telling other that you need determination to stay conscious, he's shaking himself. Shanks hockey is about to knock out Jozu. <laughs> he's not joking. And you might say, well, you're right, that sound in the manga means shiver. But there is no way Jozu is getting knocked out. Well, let's look up the next panel. While Marco is sitting on the fence, Jozu actually changed his location from one side of the fence to another. He joined the weak and stand on the safe zone behind Marco. Oh, no! no, 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 no Why are you doing this to us? You have the right to choose and believe whether basic conquer hockey of Shanks have the capability of knocking out one of the strongest Yonko commanders in the world or not. But at very, very least, Shanks being a bit cautious and clearly not being all out, made Jozu shiver and made him decide to change his location and go back on the safe zone. The only people who are successfully withstanding Shang's hockey are Whitebeard himself, of course, and Mark. And that's not all it. In the very same SPS, SPS number 65, Oda said Shang's and Ravy Bows can knock out 100,000 fishmen on Fishman Island. With that in mind, let's take a look at Sabo the Ark. When Rayleigh knocked out Celestial Dragon's Guard, he actually was impressed with Kate's crewmate for withstanding his hockey. He wasn't holding back for them. That's why he complimented them, because they successfully withstood his hockey. Again, I'm not saying that that was the full power of what Rayleigh can do with his hockey, and not to mention he's old. 
But really, just for one moment, think about the gap of performance between Shanks and Reddy. Shanks Hockey knocked out Yonko Crew and made Jozu himself tremble and shiver, while Reddy failed to knock out the underlings of Kid before the time skip. Guys, even right now, I honestly doubt that Kid Pirates, without Kid himself, of course, can possibly defeat Jozu with two arms. The gap between Jozu and the pre time skip Kid underling is bigger than Grand Canyon. And yet, Rayleigh can knock out 100,000 fishmen with the very same hockey, so was Shanks, but that's just the minimum of their power. At their minimum, both of them can knock out 100,000 people, and not to mention every fishman is 10 times stronger than the normal person, so that makes 1 million people. But when you compare the maximum of their power, Shanks can affect Jozu, really can't affect the Kid Pirates before time skip. So by putting these two facts together, you reach a new level of hockey, unseen and unheard of. This is a type of hockey that can allow Shanks to walk in Marine Ford with 50 dudes on his back and trek the entire Marine to a war and challenge their power. The amount of power that Shanks hockey might honestly have is so strong that most of Marine will possibly get knocked out in a few seconds and I'm even including some of the Vice Admiral. With this godly amount of hockey in his arsenal, I don't even want to imagine what he can do when he put all of that power into advanced level. Shanks was the very first man who used Conqueror Hockey on the very first chapter of manga, implying Oda is fully aware of what he is gonna do with Shanks and this power. Shanks was the very first man in the manga who also used advanced version of Conqueror Hockey. People like Jozu who saw the hockey of Roger and Whitebeard during battles hail Shanks hockey as overwhelming as ever. An old version of Rayleigh can't hold a candle to Shanks hockey. And we barely got to see anything about Shanks power. In fact, we never saw him offensively fight. But even now, when many people do indeed have outstanding hockey feet, Shanks with barely any action can stand a head and shoulder above all of them in hockey plays, especially conquer hockey. It's almost unimaginable to assume any other living person other than Luffy in future can surpass this level of hockey. And I can't wait to see him in action after 25 years of waiting. That's it for this video. I hope what I said makes sense to you and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That means a lot to us. Thanks all of you and I see you all at Laugh Tale.